Um, resilient. Um, and then maybe since this is kind of like first time a lot of us are talking mm-hmm. to you, um, what has what have the last few months been like? I guess as you've gotten here to Utah, uh, when did you get here, and, mm-hmm. and what's it been the transition been like? Yeah, so I got here at the beginning of September. Um, it was a big adjustment because I'm from Florida, yeah. <laughs> so it's very different. This is my first time in Utah. Um, so the first thing I noticed was the mountains. It's crazy to me. It's so crazy to me. But yeah, coming into the squad. Um, kind of towards the latter part of the middle of season is something that I've never done before. I've never not gone through a preseason. Um, so that was different and I feel like I've grown in so many ways since doing that. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of how it's, yeah. the, it started. Uh, uh, so you mentioned not having the preseason. Mm-hmm. Now you have an off season and a preseason to look forward to. Uh, what are you looking forward to most about having, you know, potentially more time to ramp up and kind of get, uh, with the team yeah um i'm looking forward to just i love off-season training i love running and going to the gym and um being able to kind of work on individual strengths and um to bring to a team to help out so i'm always looking forward to off seasons and being able to go into a proper preseason So in Florida, you were born in Sunset. Is that where you kind of lived? Is that? Yeah, so I lived in Florida um, up until I went to college, and I went to Kentucky. Okay. So then I moved out of state and then went to Australia, and now I'm here. But my whole childhood was in Florida, yeah. Was, and just out of curiosity, kind of the personal interest, was your family impacted? Are they still in Florida? Yeah, they're still in Florida. Yeah, they're... They're okay. I'm in South Florida, so we kind of just got the outskirt of the storm. So thankfully, everyone at home was okay. Well, I would say you're in a great position off-season-wise because of Florida being mm-hmm. able to go to home something warm, but you have the Australia connection. Will there be any reason to make a John over to Australia in the off-season? Uh, the connections that would pull you there? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely the connections, but it's a far ways away what I realized when I was living there it's a long trip so I don't know (laughs) I think that would take a while to plan to go back yeah I'm just curious so we didn't get to see you on the pitch which was a bummer but I am curious what was the communication like from the coaching staff with Mm -hmm. regard to your role because there were a few moments where we'd see you on the bench and think maybe Mm -hmm. possibly tonight Mm -hmm. and it never came to be what was the communication like as your role and Mm -hmm. the expectation for you so unfortunately i've been struggling with some knee pain since i'm pretty soon into me getting here so that's been Mm -hmm. pretty frustrating so yeah i think that that's kind of been the reason why i haven't had a really like solid go at it And so for 2025, do you have a game plan to get that knee healthy? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm definitely already feeling a lot better and just um, just trying to, you know, like, since I'm starting to feel better, not forget to do the things that made me start to feel better. So just doing the little things, staying mentally focused, physically feeling good. But, yeah, I'm already starting to feel a lot better. So we're on the up. Good. We hope to see you out on the pitch. Yeah. Jules, as, as one of the later later arrivals mm-hmm. um, in this club, I think you might have been the most recent, or mm-hmm. you're one of the most recent in there. When you come into a club so late, what was kind of the culture of the locker room that you walked into? Like, what sort of stood out to you about the culture of the group, and, mm-hmm. and has it changed or adapted or molded, I guess, since you've been here at all? Yeah, I mean, obviously I came in towards the end of what's been a pretty, like, long season new season new team growing pains but when i came i mean everyone really went out of their way to ask me where i'm from a little bit about my story so that stood out to me and yeah i would say we have a very like supportive locker room um i didn't really get to see from start to end i kind of just saw end so um i'm not really sure the full story but from what i've seen that's that's how i feel well you 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 use the word supportive I mm-hmm. think right there with what you saw with kind of that group is that supportive atmosphere. Do you feel like it's, it's the kind that can build a foundation for this was an expansion team mm-hmm. after all. Can have you? Do you feel like you guys have kind of built a, a foundation for a club moving forward? I guess. Yeah. Well, I think when um, a group of people are faced with adversity, you either turn on each other or kind of turn to each other. So I think that that probably is what resulted in a supportive locker room, and I definitely think that would be part of the culture moving forward. Uh, 
Uh, to you, uh, the difference between NWSL and uh, Australian League, mm -hmm. what is like the biggest difference that you see? You haven't played, but you mm -hmm. were on the bench. So mm -hmm. what's, what are your thoughts about the NWSL? Yeah, so I mean, with my team, specifically Melbourne City in Australia, we play very European style and very like close together possession, not really a lot of long balls and transition moments, which I would say like everyone knows the NWSL is a transitional league yeah. and just the athletic I would say the biggest thing is the athleticism that's the difference between the two leagues but yeah I would say that's the biggest difference for me so far that I've seen and it was easy to you to take the decision to come to the Royals or you take a moment to think about it yeah I actually had a few months my last game I played at Melbourne City was May 5th Um, so there was a lot, a lot happened in the summer, a lot of different conversations and, you know, sports sometimes is hard thing. You think you're going to go somewhere and then it falls through and then you have to like readjust. So, um, I didn't know that I was going to come here, but obviously very grateful <laughs> that this came about and yeah. And for being a team in the USA, it was easy to you to take the decision or? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Where you play out on the field, and th there's been some position changes on this team. Mm -hmm. Do you maybe anticipate that being part of the game plan going forward for you, maybe move, moving around a little bit on the field? Um, I think that I'd probably be an outside back. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Look forward to it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jules. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you.